So I bought the new 16 inch MacBook Pro nearly maxed out. It's got the i9 8 core 2.4 gigahertz Intel processor. It's got 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's got the new Radeon M5500 with eight gigabytes. About the only thing that's not spec'd out on it is the SSD drive. Instead of the eight terabit, I went with a two terabit hard drive just because eight terabits is a little bit overkill for me and I really didn't want to spend that kind of money. But let's go ahead and check it out. What's up you guys, my name is Glenn and I wanna welcome you to my channel. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below as well as that bell for future notifications. And if at the end of this video you did find it helpful, please hit that thumbs up. It definitely helps both this video and this channel out. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, or even if you just wanna say hello, leave it down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But let's go ahead and jump into why you guys are here. So behind me here, I have the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. And like I said, it's nearly uh, spec'd out. Uh, I'm not gonna get into super detail about all the new features. There are plenty of reviews out there for that, but I will cover them. So it does have a new keyboard. Uh, it's a scissor style keyboard instead of the butterfly style keyboard. It definitely feels better typing on. The key travel is definitely greater and hopefully we don't have any problems with that keyboard like the way the butterfly one uh, did. We do have an escape key again instead of you know it being on the touch bar like before. It is a new 16 inch retina display with thinner bezels. Um, I can tell you that it looks the same as the previous retina displays, it's just a little bit larger. So if you're thinking about buying this just because you think the screen is gonna be a lot better, you know, it's pretty much the same, just larger, which is still awesome. The uh, cooling system has been upgraded, so it allows a lot more uh, cooling airflow to keep it from throttling as badly. Uh, the speaker system on this MacBook is amazing. Uh, they are by far the best sounding speakers that I've heard on any computer, period. Unless you go to something like this, an external speaker, but for a built-in speaker, they sound really good. They uh, almost have like a surround sound to them. And so it's got new stereo studio mics, this is what Apple's calling them. They are definitely an improvement, but they are not studio microphones. So if you're thinking about buying this MacBook for that, they, they are decent, but you know, I use very high quality expensive microphones like the one that's right here, uh, just out of frame to record these YouTube videos and they are very expensive and it would be very hard for Apple to put something like that into a MacBook. So they are an improvement, but you know, they're not uh, studio quality like they, they claim. So with that being said, that kind of covers the main features and the main difference in this MacBook but I am gonna share a few benchmarks uh, for this MacBook because the main reason why I wanted to produce this video because I was a little bit on the fence of whether or not I should do it. But I know I had to order this MacBook. It's not something that they had in the store because of the specs that I ordered. And so like most people, I was very excited and right away I went on YouTube and I started watching a lot of really good, really in-depth videos into uh, how well the, the new MacBook was doing. But I found that most of those reviews were the base model because people were going down to Apple and they were buying the, the base models and they were testing those. And so although I got a lot of information it still didn't pertain to the MacBook that I purchased because I did get it with uh, better specs than that. And so I had a hard time trying to find something of how well you know, my MacBook was, was gonna do. And so I thought I'd put out this video to share you, with you guys what this thing is capable of. So let's go ahead and dive into the benchmarks and then afterwards stick around and I will share some of my thoughts on how this thing is performing. So I 
hope that those benchmarks kind of help you to determine, uh, you know, how well something cracked out like this will compare to other models and help you in deciding of whether or not you want to go the route that I did. And along those lines, some of you guys might be asking, well, why would you buy a, a spec'd out MacBook? You know, why, why would you even go that route? And I can tell you I did that for several reasons. First of all, my previous MacBook, which was my first MacBook because I was fairly new to, to Apple at the time, I bought two MacBooks actually, and they were both 2018 models, which, uh, you know, there are people out there that would agree with me. 2018 was the worst year for MacBooks. They had tons of issues. They, they had butterfly keyboard problems. They had throttling problems. And to top it off, I bought a model that was not very well spec because I was spending the money to buy too. It served my purposes initially and I thought it was great because I use my MacBook mainly for video creation and production. Um, so I do YouTube videos, I do corporate uh, video shoots, commercial style video shoots, music video stuff, I do lots of video stuff for my church, photography stuff, wedding photos, things like that. And so, you know, I do quite a bit on it. And uh, this year I purchased the Panasonic S1 and that uh, eventually got the Filmmakers upgrade and does video at 10 bit, 422 in 4K, 60 frames per second. And if you guys know Panasonic at all, they use an H.264 codec, which is very CPU and graphics card intensive. And so with my 13 inch MacBook Pro, the, the thing was pretty much dying. Um, I mean, I, I probably cooked it. Uh, because it was throttling all the time and it was very very difficult for me to get through any of my projects sometimes the computer would just crash on me and so uh, I purchased this because you know my my previous MacBook would kill my creative process uh, because the, I found times that there were things that I couldn't do just because the machine wasn't capable of it and I would just have to export my video at, at a certain stage and say, okay, that's just gonna have to be good enough because it can't handle anymore. And, and it would take so long to, to do things, so long to background render, any time I made an edit, you know, when I did any kind of color grading, stuff like that. And so, you know, it started to become more drudgery than joy for producing videos, which I greatly enjoy doing. And so, you know, I also bought this new MacBook and, and got it with the specifications that I did because I wanted to buy something that would hopefully turn out to what like previous MacBook generations did, like the 2015 model from what I hear. You know, people were very satisfied with that MacBook and they were a solid machine that lasted them a long time. And so I'm hoping that this one it has had all the issues addressed which, in, uh, you know, from 2018, 19, which it sounds like and, and seems like so far that it has been. And I'm hoping that this machine lasts me for years to come and that I'm able to use it for, for a long time. And so those are the main reasons why I, I purchased it. And also my, my thoughts on how it's doing so far, it's awesome. I mean, it is super fast especially for, for a laptop. I mean, I'm processing that same 4K, 10-bit, uh, 422 with heavy color grading. I'll put LUTs on it, I'll do transitions, I'll do effects, I'll do titles, and all of that, and I'll have it uh, on original footage in better quality, and I can make edits, and I can play back that footage and without even having to to wait for it to be rendered i mean an unrendered timeline and play it back every once in a while it would kind of stutter a little bit you know a frame or two and then just continue right on playing uh but nothing that you know would slow me down or, or really give me a difficult time and if i needed to i could always go down to better performance but I haven't had to use proxies. I, I haven't had to create optimized files for this. So far, I've been able to do a lot with it and it is super fast because 
benchmarks only tell you so much. Um, they're, they're great in theory, but to me, what matters most is real world use. And I can tell you the, the battery life is great. They, they up the battery size in this to the largest that they can put legally in a laptop, then be able to take it on a plane. Um, but battery life has been good the fans aren't aren't that noisy anymore it doesn't get as hot you know if i'm working with it on my lap um you know i'll most of the time have an external monitor a 4k monitor plugged into it and it's powering you know it's doing all of that and uh you know still playing back with with no problems so it has been really great and like i said the, the sound is is great there are no complaints from me on this thing so far and I really believe that this is a MacBook that is going to last me for at least a few years. So that's pretty much it. I really hope that this video has been helpful to you guys. It might not have been necessarily what you guys were expecting in a MacBook review but um, let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are on this MacBook and uh, you know if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But until then, I will see you on the next one.